SunBio, the Southern African Network for Biosciences, through its supporting program Biofisa 2, offers grants to support the commercialization of innovations that impact the health and nutrition challenges of the region. Training in the Lean Entrepreneurship Approach is provided to shortlisted applicants. 42 participants from 13 shortlisted applications and from eight SADC member states were trained in this approach. This is their testimony. I'm very happy being here tonight at this uh, opening of, of the very important training ahead of all of you. I also think that this approach that you are representing three countries is very helpful for uh, finding African solutions uh, for African challenges. The bar is very high for us and I take that very seriously myself. I think we need uh, to do a lot of hard work in the next four or five days. The world needs actually new products, new services that helps to get us out of the position we're in. And fortunately, there's some really good tools that are now available and that are very simple, actually almost painfully simple for scientists like yourself. This project is motivated by the fact that production of aquaculture in SADC, 12 countries, is the lowest in the region. To give an example, Egypt alone produces 1 million metric tons, but SADC, the whole SADC, 12 countries, is producing only about 100,000 metric tons of fish from aquaculture. And yet, the consumption of fish in this region has gone very low, to about 5.8 kilograms per person. So we are in a serious challenge. What we're doing now is to develop uh, low-cost feed, because that's one of the key challenges of aquaculture growth. Our product is a forensic DNA testing tool which specifically targets male DNA. The beauty of it is that it was designed using African population material. By African, we're talking black Bantu people in Africa, the Khoisan, the San, the Indians living in Africa, and the white Caucasians living in Africa. So even if it is designed with Africa in mind, it can still be applied as well in other continents like Europe, Americas, and Asia. The beauty about this kit is the fastest on the market. It's a PCR kit. Most of these other competitors will need two, one and a half hours to two and a half hours, and this one, you can finish the reaction in 30 minutes. And can also be utilized in analysis of paternity and genealogy. And basically, for the forensic application, we want to target the problem of high incidence of rape cases. This course was really fantastic. I can say that it was an eye-opener because we got exposed to a different section of the work, that is, what happens after we come up with a product, and uh, how the industry or the market is thinking about it, how they see us. So we have to bridge the gap between we being here and them there. So we have a kit that accurately and effectively diagnoses tuberculosis meningitis using cerebrospinal fluid as a sample. And it's a neglected public health area. Speaking to our customers, they've said that they, they want flexibility in the kit that they use. So either you can do single use or you can do batch samples. And so that our kit provides that. It's rapid, it's rapid than all the other kits on the market or tests on the market and it's uh, got a long shelf life which is quite important. Uh, we developed a rapid spot test for brucellosis in cattle. Collaborators in this project is the University of Zimbabwe Veterinary Faculty um, and the Botswana National Veterinary Laboratory in Gaborone. So brucellosis is really a, a very important disease um, it's called the zoonosis because it transmits from animals to humans and also from animals, from cattle to humans and from cattle to wildlife. So the current lab laboratory methods um, are very timeless. It can take up to eight weeks sometimes to get a result. It's expensive, you can only do it in the laboratory. And because of the, the distribution of the disease across the world, especially in Sub-Saharan Africa and Southern Africa, and we were approached by all the major role players to, to develop and produce a test that can detect brucellosis in cattle. And this is the test that we have, this is a prototype. 
Uh, the test works very, very well. It gives you a result in 10 minutes. It doesn't need any electricity or refrigeration. Uh, it's affordable at only $2 per test. Uh, and we already had about 140,000 tests sold of the protocol. Our next road, the roadmap to commercialization, includes the optimization of the product, the validation, and the sample uh, usability study. And once we have that, we can sell and commercialize. The training was uh, extremely good. I would call it an HCT, hands on commercialization training. It was very beneficial in that as a scientist and um, you tend to think more technical terms of what your research should focus on but this week itself had actually given you a new perspective of the different angles and the different aspects of your research that you need to consider when you're looking to actually commercializing your technology. It was uh, very interesting, very useful and productive in the sense of uh, preparing all the proponents to, to presenting full proposals that are really doable and uh, uh, that may enable us to achieve the goals that we propose ourselves. Quite inspirational. Daimler? Very nice. It was very thought-provoking. It definitely turned what I had originally thought of a business plan on its head.